Hey, what's up guys, Rideshare Guy here, and today I've got a video for you about should I go offline after I cancel on a passenger? And this is sort of a unique situation, but you guys should probably be familiar with Uber's cancellation policy by now, and I won't go into details because I've covered it before in other videos, but in short, in most places, in most cities, you have to wait five minutes after you've arrived in order to get a cancellation fee, right? So after you've been waiting for five minutes, you can cancel the trip and you should get paid out. So, um, I actually recently started using this cool app on Android called Rideshare Timer, and really what it is, it's a floating clock widget that sits on top of your Uber app, and it helps you track your five minutes. So once you arrive, you, you tap it. You it also has some cool texting features. You can auto text your passenger. Really cool app, definitely recommend you guys checking it out. But basically, I've been using it to track my cancellations because it starts at five minutes. And I was always finding that I would get there, and then after one or two minutes, I'm like, oh crap, I don't think these guys are gonna come out on time. And then I thought to myself, how long have I been waiting, right? <laughs> and then, you know, maybe I waited four minutes and then I would cancel, or six minutes, and basically it just helps you be a little more efficient because once that five minutes hits, technically you're supposed to be able to cancel that ride and get paid five bucks or whatever the cancellation fee is in your market. And so that's what I've been doing, right? I've been pretty, a lot more strict lately. Um, unless passengers will tell me they're on my way out, whatever, I cancel them after five minutes and move on. But one thing I was finding, and actually happened to me once or twice before I realized what was happening, was that I'd cancel on people, I'd go back online, and guess who my next request would be from, right? It'd be from that person that I just canceled on. Because when you cancel on a passenger, they get a notification that their ride has been canceled, and obviously they're gonna go right and re-request a ride, and since Uber is based on proximity, right, as to who's gonna get the request, if you're sitting in your car outside their apartment or their house, you're gonna be the closest driver and you're gonna be that request. So the person, I was finding that the person I was canceling on, obviously they're not too happy because they just got a notification from email, email over email from Uber saying I charged them $5 because they weren't ready. Even though it's their fault and they were the ones who weren't ready, you can imagine the passengers aren't super happy about that. They leave lower ratings, they're pissed at you. So it's just sort of a bad situation in general, even though it's their fault, right? So. Pretty simple solution. What I do to avoid this is I just go offline for two to three minutes after uh, I cancel on someone. So let's say I arrive, five minutes go by and they're not there and they haven't contacted me. I usually send a text or something like that. And if they haven't reached out to me, I cancel that, collect my cancellation fee. And then I actually go offline of Uber for two to three minutes because I know that that person is gonna get a notification on their app. And you know they may not be checking it instantly. Like honestly, if they weren't ready and they've been making me wait for five minutes, they're probably not staring at their app. So it might be a minute or two before they see that their ride's been canceled on and then they re-request a ride and I don't wanna be that driver. So that's why I log offline and what I have actually been doing even more is flipping on Lyft because most Uber passengers that get canceled on aren't gonna switch over to Lyft, they're just gonna re-request a ride on Uber. So that's sort of my strategy and sort of what I've been doing to kind of get around that and then that way you kind of avoid, hey, you can still get your cancellation fee because you deserve it, you earned it if you're waiting there for five minutes, but you also won't sacrifice your rating and just have to deal with a cranky, upset passenger who you just canceled on. So that's sort of my tips there. Um, if you guys have experienced anything like this, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know what happened, what's your experience been like. And if you guys have tried out Rideshare Timer, definitely let me know. I'm always looking for feedback on that. I think it's a cool app and I love to feature more apps like that that are gonna help drivers make more money. So if you know of any other apps that are cool, you think I should look into or talk about, just let me know in the comments below. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Take care.